Well, shooters and reloaders and three circles passengers and members, it's Fortune Cookie 45LC coming to you from the Hot Lead Zone Express. And you know it's been pretty cold this winter. I mean really cold. And wet. A lot of rain. So it's been hard to go to the range, but I'm going to go pretty soon. Before I do though, I think that I want to go ahead and let you know something that I did six months ago. I said I was going to go ahead and show you how wet tumbling with water and vinegar. Taking a couple ounces of vinegar and adding it to the big Frankfurt Arsenal tumbler and tumbling our brass in the wet tumble. And how it got that brass looking so good? Well, I want to show you how that brass looks now that six months has gone by. So, is it good for long term? And how does that compare with, say, going ahead and wet tumbling with our Dawn and Lemmy Shine mixture that we used to use? Now, with the vinegar, we didn't use the Dawn. So here's the brass from six months ago that was tumbled wet using vinegar. So I'll just take a couple of these to show you close up. And notice how nice that brass looks. And the primer pockets clean. And the interiors of those shells, those cases look just absolutely clean inside and out and polished. You'll see that the jugs are labeled appropriately and all the brass was stored with the caps on as you see. Well, you might ask, how does that compare with tumbling with Lemmy Shine and Dawn? All the tumbling was done for two hours. Notice this 9mm. These 9mm cases were tumbled with Lemmy Shine and Dawn for two hours. And the inside is completely clean and polished, just like the vinegar and you'll see that the primer pockets are also very clean. Just grab another one there. I'll uh, show you a third one. Absolutely clean. Here's another example of a jug of 45 Schofield brass that was tumbled in the Let Me Shine and Dawn. And you see this is about a year old. And look at that condition of the brass. We've corked it up with the jar lid. And even a year later, it looks real good. Let me show you that in focus. And the primer pockets are clean. That brass looks real good. Well, what about some of you out there who are asking, well, what about the dry tumbling with the corn cob or walnut shell media? And I go to my real deep reserves and these are 45 ACP cases that were tumbled with the corn cob. And you see that the insides aren't as quite as clean. Can't show you the primer pockets because these were just right off the range. But there's a dusty feel to all of these cases. And that dusty feel 
actually still contains contaminants from the primer residue and the powder residue. Yeah, there's definitely a little dusty feel. And that dusty feel actually has those contaminants in there. Because con contaminants are concentrated in your dry media. There's a little exposure to contaminants using the dry media. And for that reason alone, I've been recommending the, the wet tumbling. Not quite as nice a finish on the dry, but the vinegar and the lemmy shine and dawn are about equal. No difference. So the advantage is the lemmy shine takes less space to store and the cost is about the same. If you buy the vinegar, you got a big jug of vinegar. So Take care and good polishing to all of you out there of your brass. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.